Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, where do stars actually come from? Every shining dot you see out there and every star was once nothing more than clouds of gas and dust drifting silently in space. And somehow, out of that emptiness, came light. This is the story of how a star is born. Before we go deeper, make sure to subscribe, because we're about to witness one of the most incredible transformations in the universe. It all begins inside a nebula, a huge cloud made of hydrogen, helium, and stardust. Over time, gravity starts to pull everything inward. Tiny particles clump together, forming dense regions that heat up. Deep inside one of these clouds, a hot, bright core begins to form, the very first stage of a new star. Astronomers call it a protostar. As it grows, pressure and heat build up until something incredible happens. At around 10 million degrees, the atoms of hydrogen start fusing into helium, and in that moment, a star is born. The energy from fusion pushes outward, Balancing gravity's pull, the star begins to shine, not for minutes or hours, but for billions of years. Now the star enters the calmest part of its life, the main sequence phase. Our own sun is in this stage right now, burning steadily, keeping our planet alive and holding the solar system together with its gravity. But even stars have lifespans. When the fuel begins to run out, the balance breaks, and that's when things get dramatic. The star swells into a red giant, growing so massive it could swallow planets whole. Inside, the core collapses under its own weight, and in a final spectacular moment, the star explodes into a supernova, one of the most powerful events in the universe. The explosion scatters elements like carbon, iron, and gold, the same elements that make up your body, your bones, and your blood. And from that debris, new stars are born again. From death comes creation. The universe recycles itself endlessly. So the next time you look at the stars, remember this. You're not just made of atoms, you're made of stardust. What do you think? Are we the universe trying to understand itself? Let me know in the comments.